Okay, so now you're going to finish up your painting in the next week. You're going to do the bananas, the clementines, and the grape tomatoes, and then the shadows. Not necessarily in that order. The last thing you should do are the grape tomatoes. Why? Because anytime you're using an opaque red, especially red, but sometimes even an opaque blue, even if it's been dry for a week. If you get it, the edges wet, if you're putting something else on, it will bleed. So I have learned to put, the, put that deep red on last. Another thing about yellow, because watercolor is transparent, it dries lighter. And because yellow is the lightest of the colors, it dries even lighter. So you usually have to go in a bit deeper with your yellow, so when it dries, it'll not be washed out looking. These are kind of um, washed out just in the photo, so I'm going to make them a bit darker. And the shadows are cast shadows. In other words, the shadows on the table are caused by the objects. And those cast shadows always have a blue tint. These especially do because it was on a white table. The colors for that will be, uh, if you wanna make it easy, <clears throat> you can use a little black and a little ultramarine blue, and that'll give you that cast uh, color. So I'm gonna start in and do a banana And I'm going to bring the photo over here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put it up here. Yeah, here. And I'm going to go in lighter. I'm going to use a cad yellow. I'm just going to do one banana. The, the one closer in looks like it's greener. So it's up to you if you want to try and make it greener or if you want to make both um, like they're riper. And I'm going to use a cad yellow. Uh, straight out. Uh, if some of your cad yellow is too intense, you can add a little ye lemon yellow to it. And I'm going to put that yellow all over. Eh, I don't like that. Um, all over my banana. I'm going to leave the bottom where it's um, going to be black and then I'm going to paint up here. I am trying to look at the phone and paint and that is, I suppose surgeons do this now. They're looking at a screen and they're doing their surgery. Uh, so I should be able to master this. Up in here, if you look closely, there's a lot going on, and I couldn't even see where the end of one banana was. I wasn't sure if it was a shadow on the banana or if it was a shadow on the table, uh, so it won't really make any difference. Now, I'm going to go back and just work a little bit on the left side, because here, there's a little darker area on the left side, not a lot. And I'm going to go get a little um, purple and I'm going to add it and see what happens. Mm, not great. I'm gonna go back and add a little more. It almost looks like it's got green. So I'm going to take the liberty of adding a little green to it. Oops. Then I'm going to wait for this to dry. I think there's also something up in here too. I'm going to wait for it to dry because um, 
I'm going to have to add another, now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to have to add another uh, deeper color onto it on the left side. I'm going to go back in and do that right now. Just up to that line. And I'm going to go back in and try and get that roundness. I'm having trouble getting, my colors must have too much water in them. Wait for that to dry. And then, when it's dry, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to do this area, which is even darker than down in here. But it's got to be dry because there's a hard line. There's a hard edge there. So you got to wait for that to dry. So while, while that's drying, I'm going to go over and I'm going to do the clementine. I'm just going to do one. Now, if you look at the clementine, there's these grooves in here. Um, that's probably where the segments of the fruit are. If this is going to be too difficult for you, if it's going to end up looking like a beach ball, uh, pretend that it's an orange because oranges don't really have that. So I'm going to start by putting orange all over my um, my circle. I'm going to leave the little thing in the middle where the stem was. Otherwise, I'm putting the same color orange over the whole shape. Then while it is still wet, the opposite color of orange on the color wheel for the shadow is blue. And I'm going to use ultramarine blue. I'm not going to use a lot of it. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to look at the photo. And I'm going to mess it, pull it down. I'm not working on very good paper. So it, uh, it shows, you know. One of you did something on poor paper, and there was such a, not this session, maybe the first, uh, the first, the tree one, and there was such a huge difference when you moved to the uh, professional paper. So if I decide that I want to put in the, ri the lines, whatever we call them, the grooves, I would wait until this isn't so soupy, and then I would come in with a smaller brush, and... I would use that bluish color again and it's probably not dry enough but I don't want to wait and I would put in some of these I have to put in all of them just a few and that that way people know it's a clementine but like I said it also might look like a beach ball so it's your decision if you want to do that or not okay now I'm going to go back here to the banana. It's really not dry yet, but I'm not going to waste any time. I can't have this video go to 25 minutes. Nobody will watch it. So I'm going to go back in with a little green because that's uh, what the banana, what the what the banana is showing. It's a little green up at the top, which they often are, and yellower at the bottom. So I'll put um, some green in here. It's not quite muted enough. I'm going to add a little hint of black to it and see what happens. Oops. Don't pay attention to the dot. And then there's a little down in here. And then when it's completely dry, you can do the black down here and you can do a little black up at the top. And those of you who want to get fancy, you can um, do some of these lines here. There's actually some brownish lines. Um, and I don't know if I have the colors to make brown, but once it's dry, so these are it's not dry, these are gonna just bleed, but you can put some of the lines and dots and stuff to indicate that the Banana's starting to get old. Okay, now 
I want to show you the second banana, which I'm not going to do. Um, it has a hard edge right here and here. That is cast by this lime. And the bottom one here is cast by this clementine. So those are hard edges. So you can do your banana the same way you did this one, and then when it dries, you can add your darker uh, purple, green, yellow shadow here, and on this side, it's a little darker even. Um, there's a little bit of, um, of, of a shadow up in here, if you want to try that, the best thing to do would be to work on this and let it dry and then try and lift up with a brush some of this paint here and then pull it up in here. It's tricky. This one will be tricky for you. Okay, the clementine should be easy. Banana's a little more, a little harder. Now I'm going to go to the all the shadows, which is very easy. It's, you know, this is like doing a a paint by numbers. So um, you're just filling in. You're going to mix your your um, your shadow color, which is a little ultra and black. Or if you want to do indigo and black, that makes um, that makes Payne's gray. And I'm and then I'm just going to uh, I'm going to go somewhere where nothing's going to run. So I'll go down here. And I'm going to put in, just color it in. That's all you're going to do. All your shadows. Some, especially the one at the top, looks bluer. I don't know, if, you know, if you want to get into that. That's your choice. Or you can just make them all the same. You're going to do these shadows. You're going to wait, wait for them to dry. Shadows all over. There's shadows in the middle. There's shadows... Here, lots of shadows. I'm gonna do all, this one's darker, so you'll make it darker. Um, and there's some dark stuff in here. Once the shadows are done, then you are going to uh, do the grapes. The grapes, I gotta go get my red paint. So I'm going over here, where's my red paint? I'm not organized, sorry. Oh, I thought I was. I'm going to put the phone down. I'm using a cadmium red. And it's fairly opaque. And I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm just going to do one here. And I'm going to put that whole cherry or grape tomato in one color and just like you did with the apples you're going to wait a little bit and then you're going to come in with your green and you're going to do a little bit of the edge now if you look closely there's a little line right over here, right over here, a little light line. So you can try and leave that when, when you're doing this. You'll already have the shadow on. You can leave the line, and then when this is dry, you can just come back with a real light um, shade of red. Then I'll, you'll wait for this to dry, and you'll add um, your reflections, which will be right out of the tube. And that'll really make um, the tomatoes pop out. So I think I've covered everything. And um, if you have questions, let me know. Okay, so onward.